Hey guys, um, so yesterday I did do a video where I gave you the a video of the 1-6 scale um, Hot Toys drones um, that Mysterio had control of during Far From Home. And today we have the man himself, Mysterio Quil Quinton Beck. So it is uh -huh. MMS 556. Um, it is that window design that all the Far From Home figures have had. It does say Mysterio. Um, now, when you lift up the window, so as per uh, the difference with this one is that it does have, obviously, his dome um, there because it is actually Mysterio himself. So when you lift uh, this off, it is just an image of um, the bottom part of the figure. So let's just see if I can do it handedly. So you do see that image there, Mysterio, with his um, very cool magic icon there. And then, um, again, in larger letters, it's just that MMS 556. And then um, that just slides back down. Um, so Pop Culture have shipped the actual Spider-Man. Um, now, when I go over the head sculpt, there is one detail that Hot Toys has obviously deliberately done, like they do all the time with these figures. I'll talk about that later. Um, but, so, accessory-wise, he is very cool. Now, you can see that I actually already have him standing out here, um, just because I really love this. Um, the smoke effects are obviously going to look way better um, when he's on the actual flight stand up high. But, um, just for the moment, I thought I'd put him on it. So, he does come with these two smoke effects. Um, you can see they are sculpted. This one is quite, uh, they are quite um, top-heavy. So they will kind of lean over, which is why they're going to be better um, when he's actually levitating. But you can see that this looks exactly like smoke. It's um, coming up. It's translucent. It's very cool. Um, I like it. And then you do get this smaller one as well. And um, you can see that it, it does have the edges there. So you can kind of position it as I did before, uh, where you can just position it around the edges of the stand if you want to, to, um, to make it look like that, or you can probably just pop it on the ground like that, um, to make it look like the smoke is coming out that way, but again, this one is kind of top heavy, so you want to have it on an angle where it's not going to tip, however, it probably doesn't help, that's, um, that was a carpet surface, um, so his display stand is also very impressive, just going to pop him over there for a second. Um, so his display stand is freaking awesome in the light. You can see that it has this gloss. Um, you can see his magical symbols. There's lightning going on there as well, which is very cool. Um, it does just have the standard uh, nameplate, as we saw, no metal nameplate. But it says Mysterio, and we do have um, the magic emblem there as well. So very cool. Spider-Man Far From Home. And then I, again, I said the light just flecks off this thing. It is so damn cool. All the um, imagery that's going on there is awesome. Um, so he does have the flight stand. He does come with his two pieces of magic, which are also done very cool. Um, this here, uh, you slide the fingers um, into the grooves there. So... Um, you can see that there are these kind of molded sections going along there. Um, that's for his fingers to fit through, so you can actually just have him. Um, I think it is. I think it's the hands that are already... Well, might be this one. Um, there is a particular one for the right and left hand, so I might get this wrong. I think it might be this one. Yeah, that one works a lot better. So you can see that they line up there, so you would just put that in. And then... Um, it's plugged in like so, so it looks like he is projecting his magic, which again is awesome, and that is actually in there quite tightly, and I honestly didn't even uh, push it in properly, because you can see that finger there is still sticking out. So um, that's on there quite well. I, I really like that. Um, so yeah, I, I can't wait to get this guy levitating and whatnot. Um, it's going to be a very awesome uh, figure to use the dynamic stand for... Um, which again is obviously the, the main reason why I use modular cases uh, is for characters like this that need that space because um, they just take up far too much room in a detoff. Um, 
he does have these here. Uh, the cape is removable. I'm not going to remove it, but um, it does say if you wish to have his uh, kind of filming look um, when he was just messing around with the special effects, uh, you can detach the cape and then these just uh, peg on. Um, the cape has a magnetic section as well, I believe, according to the instructions. Um, so he does have his fists, and he does have um, those for the magic. Again, very nice gloves, loving the gold there. Uh, as I said, here's the second one, so you can see that the grooves are slightly different because they should be flipped. Um, but in terms of printing, they should, yeah. The flames are a tiny bit different, I guess, so you could probably be able to tell which one is which side, um, and the eye is also rotated. But um, size-wise, they are uh, pretty much identical, just um, the different way that the flame is coming off them. But uh, that is fine. Um, again, I really do like these smoke pieces. All right, now, the thank God, because when this guy went up for pre-order, this head sculpt was showing. And then a day later, it got taken down. And then at the end of the production, it got taken, it got put back up. Because it came with him. Um, I reckon, in hand, it is way better than... Um, what the bloggers would have you believe. Um, I really like this. Ooh. I really like this head sculpt. It is definitely um, Jack Jill Hall as Quentin Beck. Um, there's no doubt about it. I really like the likeness. I'd actually be very tempted, and I know this is why people did get two of these. I'm only getting the one, um, as he is on the higher price side of things, um, clickable figure wise, but this head sculpt is awesome. Um, I, I would be tempted to leave him with this head sculpt on. Um, now what makes it even better, now I don't obviously don't have this yet because pop culture did take so long, uh, to get their stock, um, no fault of their own of course, of, um, Sideshow and COVID and whatnot, um, but uh, you can put the Edith glasses on him. Now, they are pretty much forcing you, if you want the glasses, to either go down the road of getting one of the uh, $30 customized ones or whatever that the uh, 3D printers do, or to own that Spider-Man uh, if you want the official licensed version. Um, as similar to what they did with Luke Skywalker um, and the brown... Jabba's Palace cloak and slash the Mandalorian Luke Skywalker with the black Mandalorian cloak. If you want the Edith glasses, you have to buy that advanced suit Spidey. Um, there is no second way about it. Um, unless, like I said, you go down an unlicensed way um, as only the Spider-Man has the glasses, um, which is unfortunate, but it's something that we're used to Hot Toys doing time and time again where they have a particular figure that only comes with um, a particular item. Now you can see that it's actually focusing much better on the black. Um, so yeah, that head sculpt is freaking amazing. That is definitely Quentin Beck. Um, I am really excited to have this guy. Um, I watched the 1990s Spider-Man cartoon and Mysterio was always a pretty good villain in that. Um, as he was a villain, a good villain in the original Spider-Man animated series. So you can see that the dome is all cloudy, um, has that paint effect going on. Um, his cape is also equally as awesome. Now, apparently, if you have a black light and you go over the cape, um, extra runes appear, and I think extra runes appear throughout his suit as well. Um, I'm not 100% sure, as I don't own a blacklight, I will have to get one, as there are a new number of figures now that utilise it. Um, now, there is a light-up feature, so this here just pulls out. Um, we have the switch, so you can see that is quite nice and bright. Then this just pops back on. Now, um, this was actually quite loose when I took him out of the box so I don't know how far you can actually force it down but um, when you do put it back on it does uh, stay there quite nicely um, now this is obviously 
are coming across very bright on the screen, but you can actually still see parts of the smoke effect. Um, you can see it a lot better in hand. Um, but the light up feature for this guy is awesome as well. Um, it definitely adds that um, magical presence uh, to him. Um, so again, the suit's very detailed. You can see all those runes going through the suit. Um, as I said, I have seen a couple of reviews of people using uh, black lights on this, but um, again, I have no idea what sections actually reveal it. The inside of the cape is just as detailed as the outside. Um, you can see all the detailing and the scaling on the um, um, armor there. Um, it is very cool. I um, do really, really like this guy. It's one of my favorite Spider-Man villains, and I am glad that we uh, got him in 1-6 scale format, and I'm so glad he came with the uh, Quentin Beck head sculpt, as I think it just drastically improves whoop, an already awesome figure. Um, so I said, in terms of um, update, um, I do have Ray Skywalker in the mail. Um, as far as I know, my Thor and Clone Trooper have not left. Um, have not left the Hong Kong um, vendors yet. The Ray should. Uh, the Ray is actually coming from America, so um, that should actually be in transit um, at the moment. I believe it left the US earlier um, this morning um, and the EXO d data that I ordered yesterday is already in the post as well so I am going to be doing a lot of videos um, pop culture have sent the spider-man that goes with this so I will probably pull him back out um, and set him up to go with the spidey for that video um, but yeah this guy is impressive um, I'm hoping that for everyone else, Pop Culture will get him the end of next month, if not early October. But it's just been so bizarre lately. Um, figures like Rescue and the Scout Troopers that I thought we'd already have, we have not gotten yet. Um, I'm assuming next month is going to be quite expensive uh, in terms of Icon arrivals. Um, but again, I will update those as they happen. Um, yeah, this has been a quick look at the six-scale Mysterio, but this guy is well worth it.